Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the HC2 Resilience Challenge. This is your host, Coach Danny, and today we're talking about day 25, Thursday, April 16th. All right, guys, so we have a lot to do today. Um, to start off, we'll either be doing two rounds of the warm up, followed by a dumbbell or barbell um, specific warm up, or we'll be doing three to four rounds. Um, to complete it out if we're not doing the equipment variations. So to start, we have our 30 jumping jacks, 10 push-ups, 10 air squats, 10 sit-ups, and 10 towel or ring rows, followed by a 10 to 20 second crab bridge. Make sure your fingers are pointing behind you for the crab bridge and really get a good stretch through the shoulders. Keep that head neutral and open your hips all the way towards the ceiling. All right, um, you're only doing two rounds if you're going into our um, either of the equipment variations. So um, either with a dumbbell, kettlebell, or a barbell, you'll be doing Jefferson curls, hang muscle cleans, front squat, and push jerk. Three sets of five. All right, following that, we have some um, push jerk or overhead work and some single leg, deb, um, excuse me, dumbbell or kettlebell deadlifts. So full gym, we're doing seven sets of two split or push jerks, same weight for all of the seven sets at about 75 to 85%. If you don't know what that percentage is, just go ahead and um, work up to a weight that feels like a seven or an eight out of 10 in terms of challenge. Um, then we'll be pairing that with seven sets of four single leg dumbbell deadlifts on each side. Same challenge with all sets. You can use the same weight across for those. Um, if you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, um, if you have two, go ahead and do seven sets of four dumbbell or kettlebell push jerks, okay? If you only have one, do four on each arm, making sure that when you lock out, your arm is right next to your head and not because you're tilting your head all the way over to your arm, but because it's locked out straight over your body. Um, and then reset and go ahead and do four on the other side. You'll still be supersetting those with the seven sets of four single leg dumbbell or kettlebell deadlifts. All right, if we don't have equipment, we're going to treat this like an EMOM. So it's five rounds total going through everything we have listed. So you're gonna start with four to six of those strict pike push-ups, right? So that means that we are inverted, but you have your feet either on the floor or on a box, okay? Um, and you're trying to lower your head down right by your fingertips and then pressing out so that your head comes through your shoulders, right? Through that window, just like if you were to push overhead, um, that same stacked feeling, all right? That's minute one. So go ahead and complete four to six. Um, if you can, start with six and see if you can maintain, but then as you kind of, you know, it gets harder through the five rounds, you might wind up doing only four. Um, if it goes below four, then modify to something else. If you can't do these pike push-ups, you can do regular push-ups or elevated push-ups, okay? If pike push-ups are super easy for you, go ahead and do handstand push-ups at a deficit if possible. That's minute one, so you're gonna rest the remainder of the minute. Minute two, you're gonna do five single leg deadlifts on one side, okay? I want you to take these nice and slow, don't rush them. So it should be a straight line from your head all the way to your heel. So as you pick one foot up off the ground, you're hinging back with just a slight bend in the knee that's still on the ground and then squeeze your butt and drive through your heel to stand, okay? Rest the remainder of the minute. Minute three, you're gonna do five single leg deadlifts on your other side, same way. Minute four, you're, you'll be doing 30 seconds of hollow rocks or bent hollow rocks. So if you're able to hold that extended hollow position, go ahead and do your rocks there. If not, pull your knees all the way in towards your chest. And then I want your hands at your sides like you're trying to reach all the way past your heels in the opposite direction. Okay, um, if you can't rock in these positions, go ahead and just hold for up to 30 seconds and then rest the remainder of the minute. Then the fifth minute, you'll be resting. Okay, you're gonna repeat that five times. And um, if you're on for the live Zoom class, you'll be going through minute one, minute two, minute three, minute four, minute five, five total times for 25 minutes while everybody else completes the strength work. Okay, so it's very similar. It's just kind of in a different fashion of how we're delivering it or um, executing it. All right, okay, after that, We've got our workout for today, bend and snap, which is a 15 minute am rep, as many reps as possible, okay? Everybody's gonna be starting with some variation of a single arm pull. Um, so if you have 
dumbbells. You're going to be doing eight on your right side, eight on your left side of single arm dumbbell bent over rows. If you do not have that, you're going to be doing single arm towel or ring rows. Okay, so get it locked into the door nice and tight. Make sure that it's not going to open or anybody's going to come in and then do eight left and eight on your right side. After that, if you have full gym, you're going to be doing um, single dumbbell front squats, switching sides as desired, same as if we're in our some equipment variation, okay? And then the only thing that's different for some equipment and full gym is that um, full gym, we want you doing Russian kettlebell swings, okay, 16 of them. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can still use your dumbbell to do so, right? But you're going to hug the top head of the dumbbell and you're going to swing it that way, okay? We're going to treat these. Oops, that's not supposed to say American Swings. I apologize. Russian. Um, we're going to treat these like Russian kettlebell swings, so they're only coming up past eye level, right? So as far as that big aggressive hip hop can take the kettlebell or the dumbbell into the air. All right, guys? Um, if we don't have a dumbbell or kettlebell, you're going to be doing glute bridges, which gives us that same feeling, right? So um, that hip opening is what we're looking for and if you can put your feet up on something that's about 12 to 18 inches high and then really squeeze all the way up as you drive your heels into that platform all right now for everybody we're going to do an intermission at three different points throughout this 15 minute now you can choose when you want to do that um, but i'd say you know treat it wisely use the interme in intermission excuse me as sort of a break from the other things that you're doing okay so at some point three times during these 15 minute, um, the 15 minute workout, you're gonna stop and do either a 100 meter single arm overhead kettlebell carry, or you're gonna do a 100 meter single arm um, carry with a kettlebell or a dumbbell, or you're gonna do a bear hug carry. So you're gonna hug some kind of object that's hopefully about 20 to 40 pounds, okay? And you're gonna walk it out, okay? If you don't um, have a place to walk, just go ahead and march for 60 seconds. So these should each take you about a minute all right guys um let's see 100 meters also is 328 feet now um if you guys saw what i posted in the group it's kind of that um what was it it's you can kind of track like how far certain distances would be from your house you don't need a login you don't need like a password nothing like that you just go on find my location and then you map it out okay use that because it's super helpful um, in terms of our coaching notes for today, um, if we're doing the no equipment variation, I want you guys to make sure your towel rows are strict, okay? So put your feet in a position where you can do them strict, but they're still challenging. I don't want you using your hips to get all the way up, okay? For the squats, you're gonna lower yourself down slowly, taking about five full seconds before you hit that bottom, and then accelerate yourself back up really fast, almost like you're trying to jump without leaving the ground. And then for the glute bridges with your feet up on that step or a low chair, um, maximize your range of motion by really squeezing your glutes as hard as you can, driving through that heel and getting your hips all the way open, okay? Um, for some equipment or a full home gym, we're gonna keep the dumbbell rows strict. You can support the other hand on a bench or some kind of platform um, to take the pressure off of your lower back, but I find that I really need to keep my core nice and strict through these in order to not feel it in my lower back. So hand on one bench, okay, you can put your knee up too if you need to, and then do your rows, but keep that core tight the entire time. <clears throat> in terms of our dumbbell swings, they're just like a kettlebell swing, but holding a dumbbell, hold it by the handle on the end if you're comfortable that you can control it, and then treat it like a Russian kettlebell swing. All right, guys, so our goal for today is about four to seven rounds, which should be about one and a half minutes per round, not including the intermissions, which will be more than likely about one minute per intermission or three minutes total. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to your coach and we'll see you tomorrow.